Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I got another video for you. I'm going to show you guys my new sleeper cargo system. Now this is a new cargo system that isn't like my other one. Uh, that other one I actually gave away to another 3rd gen 4Runner owner and he seems to be liking it quite a bit. One of the downsides of that old system as I was using it, I found that you know I couldn't fit larger items in there and the drawers were a little too small for me. I couldn't fit things like my cook stove, you know, my propane bottles, my table, and also you know maybe even some simple camp chairs. So I wanted to build a new system to kind of address some of those issues and also I knew down the road I was going to get a Dometic fridge and I wanted to have some kind of fridge sliding system and you know those sliding systems are pretty expensive if you go and buy you know that kit I think it's like $400 or something like that just for the slide alone and I decided you know I could probably build something that will probably accommodate something like that so let me show you what I built in the back Alright guys, let's take a closer look. So you can see here, my cargo system still allows me to use my back seats. Um, I have three kids, so I need that to work still. And I used a 2x8s instead of 2x6s to get extra height for my drawer here. The top is still built out of 3 quarter inch ply, and the drawer itself is built out of half inch plywood. Now one thing unique about this system is it's based off the ARB system, and I'll put a picture for you guys so you guys can see. This top platform actually slides out independently. Um, so that way I can have access to my fridge here and then the drawer slides out as well. So for the slides I went with 36 inch locking slides and you can see I only bought one pair and then for the other slide I just bought a regular 36 inch slide and what I did was I mixed and matched them so that the top platform had a lock and then the drawer itself had a lock. Alright let me go ahead and demonstrate for you guys the uh, top platform slider. So you can see here, you just gotta push this lever down. And I put this strap in here to make it a little bit easier to pull out because there's really nothing to grab. I didn't really want a hole right here because stuff would fall into the drawer. So just push this down, give it a little pull. And you can see it comes out and actually locks as well. It's not that stable, but it's stable enough where it won't go anywhere. And um, you, know, you can get access to all your stuff here. I put it on this side because there's this little lever here or this little latch here to close the hatch and I actually use it to uh, hold the door open which is kind of convenient so I can get my stuff and put stuff in. One other nice thing about this is this whole area right here now becomes a workable surface so I can put like a cooktop here and cook some stuff and I can put other things over here. Um, you can see here I have access to the rear of the uh, drawer system as well so I can pull stuff out if I need to and that's kind of convenient in case you know I can't get access to it because this thing is now in the way. Alright let's go ahead and put the uh, top slider back in and show you guys the drawer. So the drawer is the same thing, I've got this lock right here and I put two straps on to make it easier to pull out. You can see it locks as well so it doesn't you know, fall out and you can see it fits a ton of gear in there and um, you know it has no problems with taller items. Let me show you a little bit closer. So I've got my Coleman 2 burner in here. This would not fit prior because it was too wide. I also have this uh, kind of mini 24 inch table and it fits kind of nicely. Here's my uh, single sleeper platform that I carry with me. So you can see here this whole table fits in here. Um, I also have a double sleeper that fits in here as well and it just sits under right here up to the wall and the nice thing is I made the feet kind of like fit over here so that way that this table will still fit inside otherwise it might hit the feet and then this thing's gonna be like you know kind of elevated a little bit so I made sure that that was the case. You can see here I can fit a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, this sleeping bag did not fit in here before. The propane tank like I said didn't fit before so and then also this guy didn't fit either. This is a kind of a cook set. Um, so I can fit a lot of stuff in here. And also I still have a lot of room in here and I can still fit things like my you know tools in here and you know I just put a little socket set in here and it fits kind of nicely there in case I need it for the trail or something. And you can see it's just you know fits a whole bunch of stuff. So like I mentioned these both slide independently from each other. So if I really wanted to I can still slide this. 
and this at the same time. So, you know, if I wanted to do like halfway like this, it'd be a little bit more sturdy. And pull this in on semi to get some stuff. I don't know. It's still a possibility. So, they're completely independent from each other. All right, guys, everything's back in place. So, one thing I wanted to show you is I still have my side storage here. And it's just held in here by magnets. And underneath, I put these uh, square tubing in here to kind of hold it up. And you can see it's just got some magnets that keeps it in place. It keeps it from coming out when I slide this and also keeps it in place when it's like bouncing around. And um, when it's in, it's also held up by this middle tire well. So it kind of keeps things very stable. So you can sit on here, stand on here, do whatever you want if my kids want to play back here. Um, so I still got the same stuff back here. It's just my uh, you know, tire pressure, tire deflator. It's not much back here. On this side, you can see it's the same thing. It's held in by magnets again. And you can see it's all the same stuff I had before. Still have access to my side cargo. And uh, it's just held in by magnets. And you can see here my fridge is plugged into this outlet down here. And uh, seems to work out okay. So just like my other setup, I have tie down points on both sides in the front here. And I also have two in the back, just to make sure that this uh, system doesn't go flying if I get into some kind of accident or rollover or something. So that's just something to keep in mind. You can kind of see it down there. It's right there. Now when I built this system, I wanted to make sure that the top platform was you know, flat. And one of the disadvantages of installing the Dometic or ARB slide is that it would protrude up even if you remove the fridge. So this setup, I'm, I'm actually able to remove it just by taking off these tie downs. And yeah, there's gonna be a little tie downs here that are kind of sticking up, but that mattress that I'm gonna put in, the queen size one, will easily cover all of that and still make it usable. Now I'm not going to show you guys the dual sleeper fully set up, but I will show you the platform so you can kind of get a sense of what it looks like. Let's head inside and take a look at what it looks like. Alright, this is very much like the other system. It's got a single platform here and on the other side it's got feet and you basically just push on this and it opens the feet up on both sides and you're able to extend the uh, cargo system. So I'm going to go ahead and fold the seats down so you guys can see. Take this guy, pop up the legs, so you can see here, you got a nice long sleeping platform. And um, I made it a little bit extra tight so that way it doesn't kind of pop up, but one thing you can do is you can put this seat all the way back, just like this, and it'll kind of keep it in place so that way it doesn't move. Here's what it looks like back here. So there's a seat. And you can see here, there's uh, two feet under here. And the nice thing about this is this actually has a lot more storage now because the feet are taller. Um, so what I like to do is when I get into the vehicle from the back, I can put my shoes back here. And it fits nicely down there. That way uh, you don't get your bed all dirty. So this works the same way as the other one. It's just got a little piece of wood right here. That's a ledge. And I left a little lip so that way the uh, this side has somewhere to rest on and then you can see down here I have that tie down strap there's one on the other side as well this here is the uh, dual sleeper platform and it's pretty much the same thing you know it's got two legs on each side this one's actually built out of half inch it just ran out of three quarter but it seems to do the job so let me go ahead and put it in and show you guys what it looks like all right since I love you guys I did remove the entire fridge and battery and you can see here there's just some tie downs now once you put that mattress over this, it's gonna cover all these, so you don't have to worry about that. But let me go ahead and put that dual platform in so you guys can see what it looks like. Now you can choose to put the uh, platform in through the back or the sides. Um, it fits either way, it's just a little bit easier through the back. So just rest it on the lip in the back, then I kinda just force it down, it makes it really tight. There you go. You got a full platform now, you can put a queen size in here, and you uh, should be able to sleep at least two in here, maybe one kid. Here's what it looks like from the side. And as you can see, 
There's a lot of storage down here if you really wanted to. And um, you probably want to sleep. Head, head that way, feet this way because you might fall into this gap on accident. But I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but I'll let you know when I find out. But yeah, that's it. And just to show you guys, this platform does fit this way as well. So, shouldn't have any issues going either way. Alright guys, since I really love you guys, I took everything out. And I'm going to show you guys that that dual sleeper platform fits in here with that table as well. So you can see here, cut it to make sure that it fits in here. And I position this, the feet so that way the uh, table still fits in there. Yeah, there you have it. I made it a little too perfect, as you can see, but it fits no problem. And you can see the cooktop still fits in here as well, so one disadvantage of this is that it is on the bottom, which means that you have to take everything out to kind of set it up, but it shouldn't be a problem if you're staying somewhere really long. You're probably going to set up camp anyways. This table probably won't be in here, so, you know, not that big of a deal. This is why I like the single sleeper, because it can just fit on top and not get in the way of anything. You can see it still has some room even with this extra double sleeper in here. So that's kind of nice. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to the video. That's the end of my uh, walkthrough on this new cargo sleeper platform. If you guys are interested in how I built the system, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. I do have a new video coming soon on the entire walkthrough of building this entire platform. So make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can see that. And if you guys have any questions in the meantime, Feel free to leave them below and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Have a nice day.